fatigue, of course, is the big one. You're at high risk to have lower thyroid functioning. You get something called myxedema, redness in your hands, 30 to 50%. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am blessed to be joined again today by Dr. Morgan Camp. Dr. Morgan Camp is an integrative practitioner, has been practicing for well more than 20 years. He's an absolute gift to the world in his ability to help support people through really complex conditions and diseases. Mm -hmm. So I think I might just hand it over to you, Dr. Camp, and we'll get we'll get into it. And so tell when me. you have a client sitting in front of you, what would alert you to someone potentially having their thyroid out, if people are out there thinking, oh, maybe I should get mine checked. What are the, you sort of talked about some big symptoms that are obvious and it can obviously, you should just check it anyway is what I, I'm hearing. But what symptoms are people, if people are out there thinking, oh, what if my thyroid's out, what would they be looking for? Um, fatigue, of course, is the big one. Mm -hmm. uh, constipation is the, the you know the other one low body temperature so you can do this you can just get a digital thermometer and check your temperature you know check it at different times of the day they used to say check your basal body temperature i'm less adamant of that now just check it anytime don't don't drink a hot liquid first or a cold liquid first but check your body temperature and average that out and if it's below 98.6 which it is for a lot of people you're you're high risk to have lower thyroid functioning Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, uh, then there are little cl clues and hints that you can get from the, from, from person's story for thyroid. Um, you know, a lot of times with thyroid, it's good to contrast things actually. So the fatigue is often related to either a adrenal dysfunction and it's usually lower cortisol or lower thyroid or both. So when you have lower cortisol, you often will feel better when you rest. When you have low thyroid, you often feel better when you get moving. Mm, good. So that's a dead giveaway. Oh yeah, you know, the more I sit around, the more tired I get. Uh, well, would you feel better if you exercise and get up moving and get your get everything going? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a that's a sign your thyroid's not quite working well, and you get kind of moving is kind of getting the engine going a little bit. Makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. The, um, the other thing is on the physical body. So when you have a low thyroid, you get something called myxedema, which is basically fluid building up in your system and in your cells. And it it's, it's not edema like you get when you have like a kidney failure and you push on your skin and your finger gets stuck in there and it goes in deep. That's mm -hmm. not the thing. That's pitting edema. This is mixed edema, which just basically can appear in all the same areas, but your skin looks just really thick. It looks just really thick and full of fluids and, and boggy. Um, and that's that's something you can just see in people's face. The other thing you see in people's face is their, your eyebrows, especially the lateral third of your eyebrows deteriorates with low thyroid. And that's called the sign of Hertog after Dr. Hertog's great grandfather, I of believe. Of course, I've just put that together, yes. <laughs> that's from him. So yeah, that's that outer third there. Um, and it, the... You can also get like a, a redness in your hands, mm -hmm. which is, you know, you just look at your palms, compare them to somebody else, or they just red or because palms aren't naturally red. No. Um, what else here? The, um, a lot of times you will get uh, a slowing down of the growing of your hair and your nails. That's a sign as well of low thyroid. Um, and, you know, and then the other thing with thyroid is, uh, re poor resistance to infections, especially like flus and colds and things like that, viral infections. Um, what percentage, and then I want to move on to the adrenals, but what, when someone comes in, how many people or percentage wise do you think have their thyroid out? Um, good question. Quite a few. I mean, it, it, <laughs> is the likely number it, it's the number one hormonal imbalance for sure probably you know 
in, in my pay, if you have fatigue, it's probably like 30 to 50%. So yeah. So wow. again, thank you for your time and sharing your wisdom. It's always amazing and greatly appreciated. And just how you can put complex things together and bring it back and really looking at treating someone as a whole and, and looking at all of this and putting this all together, moving pieces with the human body is really amazing. So thank you. If you um, want to get notified anytime we put up new videos, Dr. Camp and I are going to do definitely some more. Make sure you hit subscribe. If you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kinneycoach.com. You can also find us on Facebook, on Facebook forward slash kidneycoach. Thank you for being part of our community. We hope you found this useful and we hope now that a lot of you will go out and get your hormones tested every year. We highly recommend it. Until next time, thanks again. Thank you, Dr. Camp. Bye.